Jakarta Dynamic Views provides a rapid drag-and-drop dashboard assembly environment with real-time retrieval of data in development. In this example, we'll quickly assemble a customer information dashboard with a search form. We start by creating a new dashboard. We're prompted for a layout style. Of course, we can also use free formats, but let's choose a two-column layout. There's our empty canvas, and now we can get started. Here we see our data sources. These are actually live sources connected to your backend systems. They can be databases, web services, REST, JSON, or more. Let's take our customer data source and display it on our dashboard. We do this by simply dragging and dropping it directly onto the canvas. We're going to display this as a grid, and dynamic views will show us the available data fields in the data source. Let's select a few fields that we want to display. What's important to keep in mind here again is that we're working with real data, not just placeholders, as you'll see in a minute. Click OK, and you'll see the actual data displayed. Now the grid shows the actual data as we've set it up, and we can scroll through it and review it, just like that. Now, let's add a search box so we can search for a customer by last name. We drag this widget, the text input form, and let's change the title to name it appropriately. Now we have a search box, but we need to connect it to the customer grid on the right so that the grid only shows the records matching the name that we searched on the left. We do this by creating a filter, and we connect that filter to the click search event. In this case, our filter will be on the last name, showing it when it matches exactly to what's typed into the search box in the text input form on the left. Now, let's connect it. We start event capturing, and simply drag this event, this little submit pop-up over here, over to our filter box. We click OK, and we're connected. Let's try it out with uh, the name Welsh. We search on the last name, and it returns one record. Now let's try it with multiple results for the last name Moore. Terrific. Now what's missing is a more detailed record view, so let's do that. We go back to the customer data source, and this time, select Record Information. We want to display all the details, so let's go through here and choose all of the fields in this data source. Now, like before, we need to add a filter and connect the Details view to the record selected in the grid. This time we're going to capture the click event on the grid row for the unique ID and drag that over just as before. Let's try it out with a single result. There we go. And now with multiple results. We see the record details on the right as before. And you'll notice that as I click on the result set here on the left, the record details on the right update asynchronously. Jakarta Dynamic Views ships with many useful out-of-the-box widgets, like these. And, of course, you can create your own and share them with your organization. When you're happy with your dashboard, you can save it. 
and then publish it for instant use by your call center agents on their very next call. And that's Jakarta Dynamic Views.